Hello and welcome to the, well, this game is currently in development screen of Shortest Trip to Earth. A game that deep in my heart made a little squish squish sound as it told me it was alive. It's all in all FTL but in complicated. So yeah, makes me happy. Bad news, as you can see on this beautiful beautiful LCD screen back here, Bugs encountered. Welcome to Shortest Trip. This game is currently in the middle of development. You may sometimes got a weird bugs that are weird bugs that are weird. I can't read for shits. Funny or sincerely rage inspiring. So, just so you know. This game is not an early access but on Indiegogo and it's a free beta so you can download it if you want to. The link will be down there in the description. So yeah, good to know. And now we even have music which is great. As you can see in the middle you did not survive so yeah I actually played for about an hour before I decided to record this and we will start a new game. Again I can't search this enough. This is a game that is by all means not finished, but again, it's a free beta, so you can't really complain. So let's jump in and look what this beautiful game from Interactive Fate has to offer. Sector 1, the closest star. Captain's Lock, a warp drive malfunction has landed us in the wrong place, light years away from Earth. We are almost out of fuel, supplies are running out, some equipment is not working, some crew members might be injured. Personally, I find all of this not too bad, because... Because I'm a genius and I will save us all! So, we can decide between fishies. As you can see, we don't really have all too many ships available. We currently have the Tigerfish and the Arrow Nose. And yeah, both are kinda shitty, but the first time I played, I played with the Tigerfish, so let's try the very hard mode with the Arrow Nose this time. An old Red Empire ship designed to be medium escort vessel. The ship lacks a fuel synthesizer, meaning its captain must replenish supplies from external sources. Good. So, we can... Ooh! Suck the bonus. Pretty. Um, we can decide between a lot of shitties we can take with us that will make stuff awesome. But... Uh, well, I really don't know a lot, so... Uh, I should not... Give all my shittles away, let's say it that way. But on the other hand, this game will actually gain a load more perks and a load more other shitties, so I'll try to show them he them perks here off before the game gets filled up with more. So, extra fuel, extra rations, because everybody needs to eat, a few boom booms, steel, funkle bumple, exotic, a pet, uh shit. Um a nuke, that's good. Uh, better cannons, another uh, pet, a, a skull, uh, a bit of shit, uh, a bit of money, a bit of working shit, uh, an improvised me- Whenever improvised is in front of something, you don't use it. Especially not if its job is to actually cut you open, make shitties of your innards. So, no thanks. A salvaged artifact, which looks like a- I don't have the slightest clue what that's supposed to be. It Just don't look at it and ignore it. Good, fine, fine, fine. Donated technology, free shit from aliens, good to know. Red mercenary, a poor mercenary joins the mission for 100 crats and warrior princess. A mercenary joins the mission to feed her family of hundreds. Um, Last time I died because my guns were pretty weak, so I'd say this time let's Build a cannon upgrade. Upgrades main cannons for more firepower. The new guns need more explosives. Oh! So all the shooty shoots from the Red Empire take explosives? That's bad! Because my last rocket launcher took 40 explosives per shot. Which is a lot. <sighs> this is going to be shitty, isn't it? If I buy that. I do not want to buy it, but I think I need to buy it, so let's just take the big boom booms, take more boom booms, and go with the boom boom run for boom boom winchers! A malfunction in our ship's warp drive landed us thousands of light years away from home. Didn't I just read that? Little fuel, little resources. And a ship that kinda looks like a dick. Our only option was to accelerate towards the closest star using conventional FTL engines.
15 years later. That's a long flight. Loading. Loading. And here we are. Uh, Mothership AI, Captain, I've defreezed our Thai crew. I've assigned all of them to operate different ship modules. You might want to review this later. Thank you. So, first of all, space does not pause, it only slows time. For everyone who already played a little tiny bit of Fallout, you will probably notice from Vets. So, we have a bridge that needs three people. Oh, great, good to know. So, let's go over this shortly. We have engines. Engines need fuel. We have... Where's our fuel? Multi-container. Oh, there we have fuel. There we also have fuel. Um, there we have Imperial Gatling Gun. This sounds like something I would use. Imperial Gatling Gun really sounds amazing. Uh, some storage. There's a generator. Good to know. Cryo sleep is nice, warp drive is nice, there are another engine, uh, long range sensors. So, yeah, we seem to be equipped adequately. And we have a nuke launcher, which always seems nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Good. So, let's go over this for a short little time. As you can see, every module usually needs people in it, and all weapons need to be activated by hand by pressing all on or all off or clicking on the system and doing them shittles. So, the Imperial Splitter B takes six explosives per shot, which is ouching for our explosives, because, as you can see, we have 155, meaning we can tops make 10, 20, less than 30 shots. Not good. But again, rocket launchers. We don't need them right now. So, we can just click on things and place them to storage to remove them from a certain place and also, of course, click here and scrap them to get some resources. I will not do that, but for the sake of making it look pretty, I will actually place this little thing here and place the gun over here because I like symmetry and this just looks so much better, doesn't it? Good. You can pick nearly everything up and place it wherever you want. There are a few exceptions, for instance, engines. You should place the engines on the back. I don't think you can place them anywhere, but it would be pretty stupid to put them in the middle of your ship, wouldn't it? So, what else can we do that I need to explain? I don't know what the fuck a shroomer is, so let's just send you in there. Why not? Uh, you seem to be a very nice person, so go in there, take your job over here. You can go there, there, and you can... Well, take the shield emitter, I guess. So, now everyone is going everywhere and doing its job amazingly, we can start to explain the beautiful, beautiful sp Hello. I was talking right now. Go there. Mothership AI, I've completed calculating the shortest route back to Earth. Uh -uh, shortest trip to Earth, you see? <coughs> the journey goes through 10 sectors of uncharted space. Well, nice. This means you need to find more fuel and other resources along the way to stay alive. If possible, explore every star system to maximize your survival chances. Wait a second. You had 15 years to calculate that route. 15 years. And you're telling me now? What have you done while I was awake all of them times? I mean, I'm the captain. So, assumingly, I was the one person awake while everybody else had their cryo sleepy sleep. So, what did I do those 15 years? A card game only has so many combinations for solitaire, so... Ah, fuck it. Okay. Good. Press space to pause and scroll a bit. Displaying the UI around us, we have very simple things. We have health and we have shields. Shields get penetrated by conventional weapons like Gatling guns and rockets but uh, they catch all of them lasers, as far as I can tell. Maybe everything is wrong, what I'm telling you. Well, maybe not. Let's just find out, I would say. So, go on to the map. The map is actually on F7, which I cannot press because it is a hotkey for my recording stuff. So I will have to go down here and press the map key manually. I did not find a way to rebind those keys yet. So, in case the developer, for some magical, mighty reason, sees this video, please put it on M. M does nothing. I will press M now. It does nothing. M on map. Okay, just... Map. The rest is okay, but... Map it. 
Okay, we go on the map. Uh, we have a star here, we have a space station here, and space organism inactive. With right click we can move, it will tell us the distance and the fuel cost. The chitter chatter that you see here are actually asteroids, don't fly into those, those are bad, and let's see what... Oh, that's disgusting, has to offer. Space organism inactive. It's a large warp worm showing no signs of life. Could it be dead? Maybe. If not, we'll shoot it. Oh. Space organism inactive. The worm wakes up when we approach and bluntly attacks us. Apparently, does not like to be waken up. Okay, so finish fighting space life. <laughs> That's new. Inactive. The fighting is fierce, but we eventually able to shred the beast to pieces. We discover some ship parts in its belly. So we lost some armor there, which is actually bad, because that's expensive. We lost some ammunition, which is also really bad, because that's expensive. Uh, we gained some food, which is important and good. A module! I don't know what it is, I hope we find out. And money and fate points. Fate points, as you probably can tell, are the things I spent on bigger guns. And the more we get, the better. So, we have a rail accelerator gun. Accuracy 5% plus ship bonus, blah blah blah. I do not know what that thing is. So, let's click on it for a second. Uh, damage, it deals 2 damage. How much do our... I'm already now. Oh, oh. It only takes 8 seconds to fire. This one takes 10. But this thing I can actually fire without spending explosives. So that's good, I guess. Let's just replace one of our little rattling guns. No. Yeah, yeah, let's replace one of the rattling guns and you can just go ahead and repair that thing. Would you be so kind? Also something else that I probably should say, all of the crew members want to eat shit. So yeah, every minute everyone will eat. Of course, some people need more or less food than others. Right now, I can't seem to find anyone that needs any less. Well, our red, of course, doesn't need that much, but hey, fuck it. So, yeah. Just so you know. So, yeah, our nice dude has finished the repairs and now got the cannon ready to charge. As far as I can I do not have another free crew member at the moment. Oh, wait, I do. I don't need a gun, so you will go in the shroomery, because I just read that the shroomery produces shit, which is good. Ah, nice. Nice, 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 nice. So, we currently will produce about 20 food per minute, I guess? And we will consume less than that, meaning we do not have to worry about food. At least not for the moment. And we will store the Imperial ga Rattling Gun. I will call them Rattling Guns in favor of good old Sunless Sea. And let's fly onwards, shall we? By the way, I love the music in this game. Uh, these little blips are also shittles that do something, I do not know what, but we will know shortly. This planet has very poor mineral value, it's just a big rock. Oh, nice. So we cannot fly too close to the sun or to the asteroids because we will take damage, so fly around them if you can. Tartar 4! The plant life of this planet is N-carbon based and cannot be processed into regular organics. However, the local presentient animals are carbon based. Hunting them would be viewed by most of our crew as barbaric, as killing sentient children. Eco theorists view only seeds and eggs as ethical consumables, not developed parent organisms themselves. Uh, so, we now have the choice system that we all know from FTL. We can decide whatever is awesome and whatever is not. And because we are currently the new guys here in this part of space, like the good old Voyager from Star Trek, we will eco-harvest in order to not kill everything we see. This of course takes some time, but hey, we have it, so why not? Our prison bots eco harvests various animal eggs, leaving the parent animals themselves intact. Great. So we got a lot of food, which is good, because some stations will buy that stuff from us. So let's look into the station. What do we have here? Uh, no, they do not want to buy any food. They will also not repair. They will actually don't do anything. So I would suggest just buy a bit of fuel, because it's cheap enough here. Because I've already seen prices from free credits upwards, which is expensive. So let's stay here with... You know what? One credit, buy it. Buy all the fuel. We have more than enough place, so screw it. And let's get to the warp map. 
This is the next part of the game. Just a warning, this is not the end of the game. This is just one sector. Sector 1, the closest star. You can go on until you fight Earth. Which usually, as you can see, takes at least four jumps per sector. And you need to jump through a lot of sectors, so... The game actually is a lot longer than FTL in that regard. So, in Ors we have actually a fleet, meaning I will be able to show off the combat, so let's jump to Ors. What do I have here? Lifeless planet and some doodles defending it, let's jump in. Unknown alien pirate, this is Death Dance! Alright, good to know buddy. So. Now, since I'm unable to do all the machines myself, I can actually just click on auto-fire and the guns will choose their target automatically. Sadly, I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, those guns actually, most of the time at least, do not target modules but just straight out fire at, well, whatever is good. And that's mostly the hull, meaning I will just penetrate the hull and destroy what I can. But good part is we have some rockets, so let's fire our Imperial Splitters, or rather let them charge up, and try our best to annihilate our enemies. So I maybe should stop using the slow-mo and get a pew pew shooty shoot. Pew pew! Well, that's a miss. Oh, as it seems the rattling gun actually fires a lot of projectiles, which is pretty cool. So That was a lot of damage, but I guess our ships will hold. So combat music, as you can see, is at this very moment still missing from the game. Or at least I hope that's not the combat music, but again, free beta, what can I say? And there the enemy's gone, and it's still fired. Haha, <laughs> luckily it missed, good. Enemy got removed from existence. Let's scavenge. And, as you can see, we got a lot of shitties, some organic, some everything. And we got a command bridge type double. What actually is the difference between triple and double? Each crewman boosts accuracy of all weapons by 15%. 15%. So, a triple bay is actually pretty good. What do we have here? A fuel tank small. I still have a free thing so I could put that in. A multi-container. Tactical materials. Um, I can actually put more than enough fuel in. So I would like to install the multi-container here. Oh, wait, I need to right-click to install it. And scrap the command bridge and scrap the fuel tank. So, as you can see, we have, eh, you can't see, you can see now, on this little chat lock here on the end, you can see what we get when we scrap stuff, or in case you did not read it while pressing scrap like I did, and yeah, makes things a little bit easier. Also, we should send our dude back here in order to produce more organics. So, let's get actually to Ors V11, V11, well, I'm good at Roman numbers. And look what this to offer. This planet is covered with a thick layer of frozen carbon dioxide. The conditions make it economically worthless to us. Well, fucking great, in it. Great. So let's jump almost. There's actually a second planet. Oh, down there. Ooh. Ah, sneaky bugger. Ship is on fire. Okay. Next thing. Whenever you take damage, and I mean whenever you take damage. It's possible for fire to start. Also, fire can randomly start, which I realized in the tutorial because I was going AFK for about half an hour and suddenly my ship was on fire. And no, I was not sitting inside an asteroid field. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. More fire. Um, fire is actually getting pretty complicated at this very moment in space time. So can I actually give shift commands? No, I can't. Okay. Next point of the wishlist, allow me to make command chains by pressing the shift button. Would be pretty cool. You know what? Screw this planet down there. I will not take any more damage. Well, at least not until I found a station or something like that, because we're currently fubbernucked, because we only have 6 HP left, which is not a lot. 
Alright. Let's fly around here, get to this planet, and please tell me there's something awesome. Analyzing, and... Poseidon 5, a thin layer of harvestable food detected in the planet's atmosphere. Estimated risk of accident during orbital operation is below average. Okay, let's try it. Atmospheric activity starts to intensify during the mining process. Um... Uh, just recall mining tech and leave. We have more than enough fuel. Thank you. And press M. Oh, wait, it doesn't work. And. Oh, a trade signal. That seems good to me because we could really use somebody who is able to repair something on our ship. No, you're unable to repair. But we can hire a new crew, interestingly enough. We can hire a B droid cyborg or an adventurous socialite. Or an outcast from a violent bug society. Good to know. Bugs seem to eat a lot, while bee droids don't seem to eat anything, but also don't have many, many H points. Yeah. Oh, we can sell organics. That's great, because we produce more. Take them! <laughs> yes, it's a very, very not tasty sound. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me just hear that again, because it's it's a one-one thing, I can do this forever. <laughs> it's just licking all of the tasty organics out of our ship with a, with a giant rubber tongue. <laughs> okay. So, <clears throat> totally serious, we're in a spaceship right now, right? Okay, so, no, we cannot repair here, which is bad. So, let's fly to Minus, and hopefully the fleet will not be a problem. The fleet is a fucking problem. Uh, we detect a single ship rapidly approaching tactical weapons range. Open comm channel? Gichunky pirate. Or normal Texas 300 metal per trespasser. We'll make an exception for you because we like your face, but you gotta pay quickly. Um... You know what? I do not have that many boom booms, so sure, take him. A wise choice, traveler. Okay. Bye, dog. Can I actually still loot the carcass? Please don't hit me if I do that. Ship carcass. It is the carcass of some kind of fuel tanker, looted to the bones, most likely work of the pirates. The remaining metals and synthetics of the ship frame were too cheap or to justify looting even by pirates. But if a small cloud of leaked star fuel has been detected nearby... Yeah, get it! Your several drones have scooped up most of the fuel floating nearby. Great, 40 fuel for free! I take it. And what do we have here? A little planet, as it seems. Oh no! A shipwreck! This broken ship features unknown design, and our scanners show presence of active technology, but no life. The ship might still have active defense system. Approaching is risky. Send drones in for a closer look. Under attack. Alright. The ship had indeed a few automated defense systems intact, and they opened fire at our drones, destroying a few. We could either try to neutralize the automated weapons from afar, or send a few crew members to hack the ship and get all its technology without risking breaking it. Uh, let's send two crew in, why not? Casualty! How many did die? Our hackers were launched at the ship aboard heavily armored boarding shuttles. The enemy weapons opened fire. One of our operatives got lethally wounded during the approach. The other one we lost contact with soon after they had docked the shipwreck. We are sending rescue drones to see if we can save the lost operative. This is actually a pretty long event chain for a single ship. <laughs> The other crew member was alive. The ship defense system had only disabled their communications device. We could attempt to send new hackers or destroy the ship's weapons from a distance. Send new hackers! I will not destroy it! I already lost one! I will lose everyone! <laughs> if need be. I have the ship, the enemy weapons. Oh, come on! <laughs> I don't know if it's just a random thing or something like that, but... Okay, so I guess we have to shoot at it. Precision firing, maybe, I guess. 
Bristol also ships point defense weapons with range precision fire. Scavenging operation reveals an intact module inside the ship. And what is the module? It's a Aegis shield generator. Which, let me just check. So the Aegis shield generator reaching its shield points requires two operations to reach a nominal regeneration speed. And the red one requires four. But the red one also gives us a bigger bubble, which I guess is good. And the uh, red one has actually much more space, meaning we can easily put four people in, and every one of those four people will re regenerate three points per minute. So if I have four people in there, in one minute I regain four shield bubbles, so this will actually make it viable even mid-combat, which is great. Well, this thing only packs two people and actually produces less in every other way, so let's do the smart thing and scrap it. We've spent enough time here. We will not fly to the ship carcass because, well, last time did not work that well. So let's press M. No way, I can't press M. Open up the warp map and fly to Posiaia. That's a stupid name. All right. Let's directly fly to this space station. Oh, munitions for sale. Yeah, give me that. I don't have a problem with munitions. Let's see where it takes us. So, what are you selling? What is that? A nuke! A capital missile with reduced payload for civilian use! <laughs> A nuke for civilian use. <laughs> well, in case you want to shoot somebody with a nuclear warhead, here's your chance. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Good to know. Good talk. Good talk. What's the other thing? A barrel nuke. <laughs> a barrel nuke. That's the potato cannon of nuclear warheads. <laughs> An external fuel tank ready to be used as a primitive capital missile. Deals only external and crew damage. Scrapping provides much fuel. <laughs> Barrel nuke, for fuck's sake. Barrel nuke. <laughs> this is what's a barrel nuke. <laughs> I need five minutes. Alright, I feel a little bit better, which is good. Ah, the potato cannon battle on you. That, that's a good one. Um, so, I just sold a few exotics while I was laughing my ass off in order to buy more boom booms. And this little message popped up, so let's read it, shall we? Exotic substances are rare elements that seem to slightly defy the laws of known physics. I should have not sold those, those would have been great! <laughs> They're mostly found from warp animal remains. You yeah, should have not sold those, that would be great! Aesthetics are an irreplaceable component for all warp drives and also the best recreational consumables. Recreational. Isn't recreational a word for doing druggy stuff? I think that would be one of the words. I would not eat stuff that comes out of the poo-poo hole of a giant worm, but okay. Exotic substances are also functioning as an alternative currency to data credits, especially for outlaws such as smugglers, pirates, and slaves. Well, good to know I just sold my only ticket out of slave heaven. So let's buy a lot of boom booms because we will need them. 200 should be enough for the beginning. And also, you don't sell any crew, do you? No, you don't. Of course you don't. So let's get over to her, check out the planet, and then fly onwards. Posia 1, this gas jam is extremely dangerous to us since we show constant active plasma storms. Well, that's disgusting. So press M, oh wait, we can't. Okay, one trace single, two fleets, two planets. Jump in there. Okay, that seems like a pirate, because there's most likely a shipwreck. That seems like a bitch. Let's check out everything else before we go there. Aura 3? No, no, Aura 4. This planet is a desolate ball of sand, but we've located a military ship wreckage. We could scavenge it for materials. Of course we will! Cut everything out that they don't need anymore, because they're dead, that means everything! Miraculously, a piece of technology has remained intact within the ship. We also salvaged some materials, a load of metal, which is good. What do you have here? Terran military engine. Good maneuverability and armor, bad fuel efficiency. What do we have here? Okay. 
<clears throat> Turbo engine, hard to break completely thanks to its robust design. Malfunction hazard, which is bad, I guess. So I do not know the stats, so let's read up on them. This is, I guess, efficiency. Range units that can be traveled by consuming one fuel would be the same. Star map speed bonus is better, and ship wide dodge bonus to hull and hull modules is better. So why would I not take that thing under any circumstance? Okay, you just told me it has a really bad fuel efficiency. But it's better than mine. Would you say that mine are shit or or what? I guess mine are shit, so since they're shit, I will take the not so shitty ones and put it in there. I mean it's not symmetrical anymore, meaning my ship will most likely die, but screw it! Bull! Yeah. That seems good. And you can be scribbled up. In case I'm doing something really stupid at this moment. And you all realize it. Do me a favor and put it down in the comments below. Because... It's me stupid. And I know it. But I just don't see it yet. Because maybe I will only realize that I'm pretty stupid after I watched the video while uh, editing. So, yeah. Bye! Good. Back on the map. Uh, will I fight anything? Oh wait, I remember, I don't. Uh, can I? I actually can get to the trade signal though, so let's get there. Also, I have not figured out how the hell my sensors work because they seem to blip a lot. So, I can repair, great. A full repair, I cannot afford, that's not so great. I can sell a shit ton of organics, which is great again. Um, and they buy them? Wait a second. Do they buy? Sell... No, no, I sell one organic for one, but I can buy them for two. Okay, good to know, good to know. So, sell them for one. Uh, no thanks, I already found out how I can make organics, I just need dudes. I can eat them. Um, no, I did not say that out loud, did I? Exotics, thank you, but no. I actually have three exotics again, so... Let's actually sell exotics, because selling exotics actually brings a lot of money in, and we need that money right now. Uh, metals are not that good for selling, but still, let's get down on 200. Also go down on 200 synthetics. Also, I would really like to have a little field on the sides where I could put in the exact numbers I want to sell. Because the slider here is really hard to use, and using the mouse wheel does this with my screen, which is not what I would like to do. Also, you could definitely just use this lookout on the ship and hold it at that while using the mouse wheel only to scroll through the shop bar. That would also be great. So, how much repair can I afford with 375? A lot. I can repair a lot. With that, I should be able to win. That looked pretty. Oh, it looks pretty again. It's double pretty. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I should be able to win a fight or two. So, I know this is a really stupid idea, but I will try to engage this enemy. But before that, scan it. It's a shipwreck and an enemy fleet, I guess. So, show me what you got. Single ship rapidly approaching tactical weapons. It broadcasts Red Empire credentials. Open comm channel. Red Empire official. Alien vessel. The star system is Red Empire property, and according to local rules, all alien visitors must pay the hospitality tax or be immediately destroyed. <laughs> well, I don't have any money, so fuck you. Okay, we open fire immediately, which is good. Also, you stop eating sushi and go up here and get our weapons going. So, just look at the ship for a second. It's actually the exact same ship that we have, even with the same starting layout. So, I should be able to take them since I have... No, I should not be able to take them, because they actually have a big boom gun here that I do not. Can I just... I would like to retarget this here. This too. Retarget you here. And you here. If I take down the weapons, I should be good. If I do not take down the weapons, I will have a big one. 
So, let's see how this goes. Maybe I will lose. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, the first weapon seems to be down already, which is good, in my opinion, at least. Second weapon is down already, too. So let's just keep on firing. Something got hit. The shield room, I guess. The shield room got hit, which is bad. But I screw it. So, and one of my weapons is actually down, which is not good. So, instead of doing precise firing, let's just auto-fire directly on the hull. Wait, why did you not change target? Oh, I have to right-click. Ah, damn, I forgot that. Just... Ooh, two projectiles just collided mid-air, I think. That's always something that I really enjoy in games like these. If somebody takes the time to actually make it possible for weapons to target each other. That's that's great. That's also what I really liked in FTL, where I could stop your defense drone while it was making its round around before it reloaded to stop incoming fire if you really needed to, which was great. It was just nice. And also, this slow motion fight just looks pretty, doesn't it? I mean, it's kind of overrated, of course, but it's pretty, isn't it? So I won't jump to the end of this fight nor or to the moment where I have to run away whatever happens first and we'll see what happens. And the enemy got annihilated. Uh, bad news, we actually have a few leaks, so let's get some people to do some work here, please. And repair that as fast as you can. Yeah, yeah, just stop crying, we already repaired that, it's good, it's good, all good. So, we leaked some organics, that, that sounds wrong. Um, it's, uh, do you know that problem when when you're getting older and you just start leaking all of this? I'm sorry. We just have to repair the shield emitter and then we're on our way, I guess. You two guys actually do not come here. You will go to the shroomery and you will change to the weapons if a need arises. I just see that one of my dudes actually took a hit. But I don't seem to be able to heal him anyhow. Because I don't have a Met Bay or something like that. So yeah. Good news is I can just scrap the cryo sleep immediately because I don't need it at all. Better have a module free for whatever I want to place in there. And well, jump onwards. Check out the shipwreck. Maybe we can get some resources out of that. It's a ship frame, and little else. Well, metal. Metal for the metal god. So, I would say let's don't attack the next enemy, but directly jump to the exit. What over here? A gas giant. Please tell me I can get some loot. Let's copious amounts of fuel elements in its thick canvas to just here. It's extremely violent. You know what? Try it. What's the worst that can happen? During the fuel was a massive electrical storm appeared, frying equipment and damaging our ship. Okay, that's the worst thing can happen. Good to know. We discovered a shipwreck of unknown design orbiting the outer atmosphere of the jazz giant. Miraculously, it seems to be still contain some active technology. The fuck is this? You know, as you said, unknown design, I was thinking about like a delta flyer or something, but that thing is... Well, either it's a very expensive butt plug, or it's Christmas decoration. But it definitely is no kind of ship I know. Investigate. That sounds bad. One of the ship's crew members was still alive in armored cryopod. They had a private conversation with our AI and decided to join our crew. We scrapped the ship wreckage. Good to know. Did we get any special kind of crewman? No, it's just... No, no. Outcast from a rat planet, so it's a rat dude. He eats a shit ton of food, though. Okay. While we're at it, I have not talked about the skills of your peoples yet. As you can see, we have three skills. We have model operation, we have repair skill, and we have the move speed. Move speed is by far the uselessest thing of all, unless you really need to get that fire out of the way. Repair is really useful, and module operating is really useful. That rat man is amazing. So, I will actually remove you from here and send you into the... Let's send you here into the shield emitter room and set the Ratman over here so the Ratman can work on producing more food. Let's look how this goes. 
Oh, nice. The Revenant will produce... Oh, no, that, that thing. The Shroomery together will produce... 26 food per minute. And... I have 10 people. On average, they consume... Let's say 1.5. I'm bad at math. Meaning... 10... 15? 15. Meaning I'm in a plus again, which is important. So we can produce infinite amounts of green stuff we can also sell. So, let's press M. Oh wait, that doesn't work. And go to this little space station. Well, or get bumped by asteroids because there's no good way in. So, you make that fire go away, way. They watch me fire, fire. They watch me nay, nay. I'm bad at that, I'm sorry. And jump on board to the space. Stop crashing into asteroids, you idiot! Okay. Remove the. F How am I supposed to remove fire on the outside of my ship? I mean. I'm. I. Yeah. Uh, I. Oh, so that's how you do it. You just look at the wall, spray the wall with stuff, and the fire out the... How does it even burn outside of my ship? There's no air! On the other hand, how are my engines burning? I mean, I guess combustion is pulsated out, but... Wouldn't they kind of stop pulsating when I'm not moving? Which, for instance, I'm doing right this moment? <sighs> Just give me some info. Hello, what do you sell? You sell a mining laser, low accuracy when compared to military beam weapons. Hmm, good to know. They sell a mineral system was designed by an AI, the Cube Cannon 2. Um, no thank you. And heavy duty industrial laser, low accuracy if compared to military beam weapons. Yep, nope. What can I sell? I can sell organics. Of course, we will always sell all them organics. You also take my exotics, which I did not find a reason to keep until now, so... Here, I guess. Have fun! And let's again sell all the metal until we're down to... 200. All the metal! We never need metal! And... The resources we gained will be invested in our ship, so it does not get fabernacked up. Shooing! Shooing! It's the Schwing Master 5000. Good. So, we have an exit warp gate. I never got this far, so let's find out what we can do here. This entire sector is quarantined by the Emperor Banks Empire. Access to exit warp gate for all non-imperial actors denied until further notice. Um, what are the Emperor Banks? Emperor Bank civilization is led by commercial banks who replaced our emperors thousands of years ago. Nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's quarantined. Why is it quarantined? The quarantine includes information about itself. I have orders to terminate any non-imperial actors requesting information about the quarantine. Nothing personal. Well, thank you, dickhead. Okay. So, you two just... Runny, runny, change up to the weapons and just open fire like madmans and hope that we can deal more damage than they do. Okay, it seems they only have lasers, so... Nope, they do not only have lasers, they actually have more than just lasers. Which is bad. Okay, now the micromanaging part comes in. What can we deactivate what we definitely do not need? Uh, good question. I need that, I need that. I do not need a warp drive. Screw the warp drive. And instead of the warp drive, activate this thing. Yeah, that seems to be okay-ish. Let's keep firing. Okay. We have them down on 16. We seem to be doing better than they are doing doosin. But that's not hard, is it? So, we can deactivate this weapon, but activate this one in return. Which is... You know what? Why would I just activate this thing too? Screw that. I do not need it. Oh, this is getting complicated already. Oh, the generator got destroyed completely. That, that, that's bad. Um. 
deactivate you, definitely. So, why do you not... You need four power, oh shit. Um, good to know, for the future, I guess. So, let's provide a passive bonus, I guess. Oh, this is going to hurt. Just keep auto-firing whatever you can. Keep the fires boom booming. I believe in you, Rattopia. You are the only truly rat people that this world does need. Fire! Fire rats! Make them! Make them unlaser! Keep on fi The fire is not important! Do not leave the sinking ship! Just keep on firing! Keep attacking! Fire onwards! We can do this! We will survive! We are rats! We're dying, aren't we? Oh, that's bad. Why are you not firing? Because you don't have any more explosives! Good to know. So I can turn you off. I can turn you off. Meaning I will have a, a, a scourge in power. You can send you here, here, here. Oh my god, somebody needs to repair that shit. Um, go here. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, crew management in this game is complicated. Um, you you go there and take on. Oh my god, it's too much happening. I really need a list of crew members on the side here that I can uh, expand, where I can see whatever dude one to ten is doing right now, so I can see if somebody is in a module that is not operational. There was a dude in here in the warp drive currently that. Did nothing except for standing around and pushing a button all over. Because the lights were not going on, because I cut the power. So yeah, that's bad. Okay, on the other hand, I'm pretty sure we're losing right now. So yeah. They seem to be out of ammunitions, but yeah, I, I fabernacked, I'm dead. I, I cannot even escape, I have no chance. I can escape. Death. I did not escape. I death. <laughs> the mothership has been destroyed. Some of your crew, including the captain, might have made it into escape pods and cryo freeze themselves. But their fate remains, meaning we keep our fate coins. And next time we can spend said fate coins. Hmm. It was not as awesome as it would be. Well. Yeah, I know, shortest trip. You still are in beta, my good friend. Good. This was shortest trip to Earth. If you enjoyed it, tell me down below. I would love to play more of this, but if you say, eh, it's a stupid game, I don't like it, then write hashtag stupid game in the comments. It's that simple. And with that, I would say that this video of our glorious empire is ending. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye bye. I usually don't put messages like these at the end of a video, but I will make an exception for this game because I really enjoyed it. Please head over to the Indiegogo campaign and just look over there. If you enjoyed the game, you can download the free beta from their website. I will put the link down below again. <laughs> and if you enjoy the beta, consider backing them. The game already feels amazing and in my opinion, is already worth five bucks, at least. So, whatever gets added will be worth 10 to 20 bucks, whatever you can give. And all tiers in this little bucket tree will give you the full game, so you will actually buy the game instead of just throwing money in their faces. If you cannot afford to give anything to them, like I am, consider doing something to support them or spread the world. Go on Reddit, post about it, post a Twitter post, or make a Let's Play video, I don't care. Just make this game a thing, I love it!